I want to show you how to make a word cloud out of something like a bunch of tweets or out of any kind of text. So what Tableau really wants is individual rows for each word in your text. What it doesn't like is something like this. I'll show you real quick. So if I were to add in just my text, it doesn't like to do a word cloud when you've got text that's broken out or that's not broken out into individual words. So here's all the tweets, and I grabbed a bunch of tweets from one of Andy Kreeble's visualizations on Donald Trump. Um, but what we need to do is chop this up into individual words. And it's pretty easy to do that, we just gotta do a combination of some things. So right now we've got it as a CSV. Let's get back out of here. And what we need to do is open up that CSV in Excel. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this, but there's this awesome function called text to columns. So you want delimited, go next. I select all these things. Uh, another one would be like um, the period in there. Yeah, put period two. We'll finish that, and now we get a bunch of individual rows there, right? So we want to extend column names to all these individual rows. So we'll call this text one. Now I'll just extend this all the way out. And I do a couple beyond what seems like the last one. Alright, now let's save this. Exit. I want to save my changes as that. Yes. Save it there. DDT. Yes, whatever. Now let's add that in. Alright. I like to start fresh. Let's add in a new one, text file, DT. And here you can see all of our text columns. What we want to do now is pivot all those into one column. So I hold down the shift key and go back to that. Hold down the shift key after I've selected that and go all the way to the end. All right, so now I've got all of them. This is the key thing you do here. And now you just say pivot. All right, so now you get, where did it go over here? Oh, pivot field name, this can be anything. This is the important part. So I'm going to rename this to uh, actual text, All right? Okay, and now we can go here and do whatever we want. So we've got actual text. Let's put a filter in over here. Let's say the top field, um, let's create a new parameter. Actually, I've already got one. This will allow us to do a slider there. It's not an actual text. Now let's do actual text, number of records. Let's start out with a bubble chart, which isn't great. Um, we don't need color on there. But we can see a bunch of words that are like very common that are usually excluded from sentiment analysis. So what we can do is just use that set of words. So let's see if I can copy all them from here and I'll publish this list beneath the YouTube video. And we'll add that in as a filter too. We'll say um, custom value list. All these things exclude. Most of those are like prepositions and stuff. There are some other odd ones over here. So we might want to like take S and U and HTTP and exclude them as well. And then maybe we flip it to a true text chart. And there you have it.